Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we were actually going forward to getting Yutan knocked off the list and brought into the Empire, and also getting a few things taken care of, like uh, changing Siswitov to a uh, trade hub. Which will take a little while, but we'll get there. And getting the fleets up for another upgrade. But other than that, we're doing pretty well for ourselves so far. And we're going to hopefully keep it that way. Construction complete. All right, Pentarum stuff is complete, which means we can move on back to Jetanar. Rangetanar? Ah. However I want to pronounce it, really. <sighs> Other than that, we are doing pretty well, and we're going to continue doing so, hopefully, for as long as we can. That said, um, the war between Science the Spuxalac and the new Commonwealth of Man continues. Ooh, and we got the Curator Exploration Lab completed. Beautiful. Love seeing that. Now, um... Okay, now my computer's acting up. Not sure why. Okay, that's done. Um, let's go with the subspace sensors. Get that taken care of. Get that started. Sensors that detect the subspace fluctuations left in the wake of traveling, traveling starships. Their sensitivity and range is greater than that of a gravit gravitic sensor array. And it also gives me a black hole observatory. By building a specialized science facility dedicated to studying a black hole, our empire will surely be able to understand, or rather see the improvements in our understanding of physics, which is always a good thing. But uh, it's just a fringe benefit, really. So we'll go with that. You shall go with that. The first fleet is completed. In Construction its complete. Beautiful, that's what I want to see. And now you get working on all of that before you head back. Beautiful. Man, they it does it so quickly because there's so many ships refitted. <laughs> so many of them. Man oh man, it's done so fast. It is a blur how fast it goes. All right. Senate has voted on and passed the Resolution Military Readiness Act. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. And then this one's next. Oh, great. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, also, apparently, repeal Charter of Workers' Rights. Fuck you, no! Oh, and the Commonwealth of Man ends up being against galactic law because its fleet isn't at least half of its... <laughs> isn't over half, rather, of their fleet capacity. Hell no. You do not get that at all, you bastards. All right. Whoop. Scientist Javier Solano died at the age of 117. Damn. All right. Um... Well, let's get another scientist in there. Lowy Makeki. Yeah, let's give a plek, uh, Pelx Credonian. Yeah, let's give, let's give them a shot. Sure, why not? Let's see, why not? Yeah, Acropolis. There we go. Beautiful. Love to see it. All right. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Gene seed purification. Nucleotide purification techniques allows for the isolation and refinement of particularly desirable genetic traits. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right. And targeted gene expressions. That's one I kind of want, but not yet. Uh, since we were starting to have issues with food production we might as well go into the nano vitality crops infusing crop strands with small amounts of nano machines yeah nano machines 
Ah, oh, Jesus, I had to bring it right back to, uh, <laughs> bring it right back to Metal Gear. Uh, create a type of produce that is ultra-resilient and the chemical composition of which can be tailored and altered during its entire lifetime. Sure, why not? Taking GMO to the next level. All right. I mean, hey, it's only a matter of time, right? And now I think I can now build an off-world trading company on Sesuatov and get them as built up as I can for what their new focus will be, which is, of course, going to be bringing in trade from everywhere nearby that can't be reached by Straya. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, Orbital Habitats is done. <laughs> hey, hey, Allows the construction of largely self-sustaining orbital habitats. Love to see it. Oh, advanced Corvette hulls. Really? I hadn't gotten that done yet? Oh, geez. Okay, well, let's get it done now. All right. Omicron aliens in the Briscoe system. Construction I, complete. There are still species of aliens I hadn't run into yet? Interesting. Interesting. All right, they're done and they're moving back. Fantastic. I love to see it. Whoa! <laughs> Bringing in seven. Seven. I'm bringing in now seven of them. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, okay. Okay, all right. Um, Omicron aliens available. Okay. Where did I meet them? Okay, this is just Tianki space whales, that's all. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Wait. Why did they build Starbase here? And then just forego Shaola and Ejok? They're weird. The Spuxalacs are weird. They are fairly weird. Okay. Um, Special project complete. Crystalline entities. Okay. The reports of extraordinary free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship size objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal-like satellites at first appeared inert. But sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they might be alive. A fascinating prospect, to be sure, but they should be approached with caution. Our best and brightest are standing by to study these entities. Absolutely study them. New sit rep. Absolutely study them. If for no other reason Science division than to find out what they're about. Breakthrough. Subspace sensors. Done. Beautiful. All right. Plasma cannon shooting green flame. Oh, yeah. All right. Gotta love it. Um, but first, let's look into multidimensional studies, since that is the cheapest here. To expand our knowledge base, we must consider all levels of existence. A new realm of science awaits us. Booyah. Oh, and another thing for the Delect community? What do we got here? The Conservation Act. Absolutely throwing my weight behind that. Abso-fucking-lutely. Okay, Reggie, it's... <laughs> it's just close enough. We should probably be okay with that. Don't give me shit for it, okay? <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, now that's done. 
Now I can get these upgraded again. At this rate, I might as well just keep upgrading them <laughs> every time. Oh. And it's just three destroyers that are getting built for them. And they're going quick. Filthy Ketlings. They're your own people, technically. Okay. What can you offer us? An excellent fit. Okay. Um, a scientist. I don't really need a scientist right now. An engineer. An engineer. Nimble fingers, swift mind. Very good with wires and long division. Uh, I can afford it, but I don't really need a new scientist right now. Sure. Row aliens. What? Row aliens. What's that about? Might as well finish this too while I'm at it. Um. Oh, they're they're not too bad. Although their range is all over the place. They do. Particles, psionics, and industry. Whereas the other one we had was at least maniacal and also had psionics and propulsion. Hmm. Interesting. Well, if uh, Muhammad ever kicks the bucket, I'll replace his spot with uh, Fald here. Maybe. Alexander Yurzov. Eh, maybe. I'll, I'll put him there instead. Depends on how that goes about. Alright. That's fine. They'll meet up with the fleet soon enough, since the fleet is on its way to get upgraded. Special project That's complete. Fine. Ancient mining drones. That's what they were. Okay. Reports of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation, established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. The drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile, overtures towards Felenian vessels... Vessels? <laughs> Nuclear vessels! Okay. When approached... They may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Empire of Felony. New uh, sit We're going to start a listening poach, post to listen in on what they're doing. It'll take these a little longer to get done, but they will get done. And we'll be fine. So it's not like it's going to screw us in the long run. I don't think. All right. Um, Ships refitted. Envoy Ira Putapa. Ira Putapa has died at the age of 118, which means they have been replaced by Charles Leroy. Leroy Jenkins! Okay, had to, had to do the bit. Representing our interests in the galactic community. All right, fair enough. Brooklyn Burnside, should I move her from the Ketling considering... We're at max with them. Honestly, probably. And then move her to the uh, Galactic Community Envoy 2. There we go. It's a good idea, I think. Helps our... Special project complete. Helps our diplomatic weight a little bit, too. So, that's always good. Crystalline entities are unbreakable. The Crystalline Entities, the name itself a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Felon Day, are most definitely alive. Some overly conservative members of the Felinian aca the academic elite, I was going to say that in a completely wrong way, argue that they are silicate animate matter and that they have little in common with biological life. The vast majority of the Empire Felonay's populace reject that regressive perspective, instead turning their eyes towards the fascinating new horizons that the crystalline entities represent. They are, somewhat regrettably, solitary beings. Each individual's 
crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than one sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity's socio-hierarchical relationships... Really? That word I could nail, but I can't say any other fucking word? <laughs> are lost on us, which does not stop these dynamics from being subject of fevered study on felon day. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed and it appears as though sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter the refractive properties of the crystal, which allows us to learn about crystal focus, which gets us more energy from jobs, which is always a good thing, as far as I'm concerned. Construction concern. complete. All right, it is now on the Senate floor. Special project complete. And we'll see how it goes. The drining, the mining drone work ethic. The drining, see what I mean? I couldn't say words like this, but I could do social hierarchical. <laughs> Fucking hell. <sighs> the drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever-diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull, but nevertheless informative, subject of study. In fact, a mining that works on Felon Day could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there's anyone left to receive these pings, may be a mystery for another time. Drone mining techniques would increase the mining station minerals output. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Oh, Sutherian Entity are just outright opponents now. Because everyone else likes it. They're against it. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Alright. Uh, leave Science it to the Division Sutherian Entity. Reports a new breakthrough. Sutherian Entity made peace with the Polysimus Syndicate. Oh. They took one thing away from the... They took one thing away from the Polysimus Syndicate. Alrighty then. Well. Sutherian Entity is a little bit stronger than I thought gave them credit for it seems well we're gonna have to change public opinion on that now aren't we or show them that they're wrong um what should i go with advanced food processing and it would take volatile moats which i have a lot of okay sure let's do it Let's do it. And advanced Corvette hulls will be done soon. Science division and reports a new breakthrough. Yep. That they do. Flak cannons. I have not really been following up on flak cannons, really. I thought I had been. Oh, well. Oopsie doodle. Um, mineral purification is the cheapest by far. But I don't really need it. It's not yet. Cross model standardization. Uh, let's go under flat cannons because I need it and it's the cheapest by far. Which reminds me. Uh, Corvettes. Didn't they have flat cannons? No, they had. They did have flat cannons. I hadn't updated them ever. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. These do less damage, but they have higher tracking. Well, the upgrade should definitely change that a little bit. Alright, let's look at the planets. Nothing new there. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Well, I feel it is time to start slowly but surely developing these. Just making sure that the Plissimus Syndicate don't go around my 
soon to be open border and uh, take these from me. Alrighty. And we're doing good. Doing good, making Science good progress. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And we have multi-dimensional studies finished. Beautiful. All right. Um, gateway activation. Unlocks gateway travel, but that does cost a lot. I'd rather not move into that quite yet if I don't have to. Proton launchers. That would be nice would be very nice. It would destroy the hell out of armor and hull. I just need something to knock out the shields first. Which I, well, can eventually develop that technology. Let's do it. These energy projectiles consist of tightly concentrated protons capable of causing immense damage to the hull of enemy ships. Let's do it. Let's learn what they're about, and then get the flak cannons done in two Science seconds. Division there we reports go. a new breakthrough. Beautiful. That's done. And standardized cruise patterns. Cruiser patterns would be nice. Nanite mineral probes would be great. Um, yeah, let's go with nanite mineral probes. Because that would also affect what we're bringing in for energy credits as well. These special probes are equipped with swarms of nanites that identify previously unknown mineral concentrations and mark them for later extraction. Beautiful. I love it. Let's do it. And now they have to get an upgrade again. Jesus. Oh boy, they need so many upgrades. So many times. It's ridiculous. But I should know this by now. That's how it goes. Um, sell. And sell. There, better. Much better, actually. To the point I can sell that. And buy this. Alright. Doing good. For now, we're doing good. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, Commonwealth of Man is not going to last at this rate. Oh, yeah, they're not going to last much longer. Oh, no! Bungani McQuemte. Oh, no. They did so much good work. It's been an honor. All right. Scientist. One with a spark of genius. Ha, 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 ha. Beautiful. Ah, uh, just when I needed it the most. All right. Ships refitted. All right. Good. And I think I can finish reinforcing this fleet. There we go. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. The war is done, clearly. Commonwealth of Man made peace with the Spuxalak Nation, and the Spuxalak took a whole bunch of systems. Ooh, boy. Yeah, the Commonwealth of Man got their ass handed to them, and then some. We have won the war, even though I didn't do anything, because I wasn't going to help them. That was their vendetta. They can deal with it. I ain't going to do it. Science Division My reports vendetta is a new the breakthrough. entity, and I'm going to deal with them eventually. All right. Advanced food processing is now complete. New cryopreservation and protein resequencing methods will make food processing much more efficient. Which is all you can hope for. Oh, and I've been doing it all this time without this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Refit standards. Gene banks, the clone army, would be nice. Although their collateral damage is a... Massive amount. Jesus. There's no reason they should be making that many. That much collateral damage. That many. That wasn't the word I wanted to go with. 
We'll go with refit standard since most of the combat will be basically ship on ship. For the time being. Standardizing workflows for upgrading and retrofitting ship components can lead to massive efficiency gains. That's all you can hope for. Alright. And... The fleet shall be finished soon. Alright, and the shipyard... Construction complete. They're finishing making these cruisers, and then they're moving on to upgrading. Good to see. Good to see. And then I'll get these taken care of. And I'll have you make that and that new outposts. And then I'll work on that section, this section, and then we'll all be good. Yeah. All right. All the upgrades getting done on one Ships of them. Ships anyway, the look of it. Yep. <laughs> the one section was enough to get all of those taken care of. Oh, I no longer have control of the Federation. Because <laughs> the Spuxalak are now president. Okay, that's fair. Oh, the Spuxalak actually support a fleet contribution. Oh, no, I just realized I do not have enough, uh, don't have enough fleet limit to do what I'm wanting to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, first things first, I'm going to get, oh, Devastator Torpedoes. Wow, we skipped a step, I think. Uh, either that or... Oh, these are actual just normal torpedoes. That's what they are. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Star Fortress. Let's build one of those. I don't see why not. This mighty space... These mighty space forts will provide a focal point for all military activity in a star system, and their presence is sure to deter all but the most stubborn attackers. Upgrading the star holds, star fortresses can house three buildings and a full complement of six modules. Can't complain about that. At all, really. Alright, Dawn Light now has another thing we can build. And I say we go for more crystal. <laughs> synthetic crystal plants. Because I have none that I can go after the normal old-fashioned way. But I will build these up. And I will upgrade these. There we go. I will upgrade all of these. Because I now have the income to do so. I think. Hall of Judgment. Do I really need that now? Not really. I don't think so. All right. They're going to finish there and then work on these two. That's good. Good. Good, good, good. Good to see. All right. Drink from the numistic well of wealth and thirst no more. Okay. Ah. Come across these ancient artifacts. Okay. Sure, let's go with it. Perfect. All right. And with that done, don't really need to worry about much else. But I do need to make another... Another one of... Where do I want to go with it? Let's build it here. Yeah, let's build it here. Let's upgrade this to a starport. Science division reports a new breakthrough. And we'll make that the anchorage right there. Which is a good idea. Retro, or rather, ret. Ooh. 
let's try that again. The refit standards is now completed. Beautiful. And auto curating vault, huh? Continuous asynchronous analysis of disparate data sets allow for the accurate modeling of hitherto unpredictable fluctuations in social currents. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Global production strategy allows me to build a ministry of production and unlocks the industrial subsidies and forge subsidies edicts, which increases what metallurgists and artisans can make. Fair enough. Planets are big and production sites are often separated by vast distances. A coherent strategy for making certain that everyone is pulling in the same direction is often needed. And with industrial subsidies, success can be measured by the acquisition of things. This edict provides our factories with additional resources so production can be increased. Forge subsidies. Our empire thirsts for more specialized alloys and precious metals. This edict provides our foundries with additional resources so production can be increased. Alrighty. And it's cheap. It does have that going for it. It is cheap. Sure. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Cool. Proton Launchers is now done. Hmm. Ion Disruptors is the cheapest. Neutron Launchers. That's the upgrade for what we just got. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I would like faster research speed, though. As cheap as Ion Disruptors are, Positronic AI would be very beneficial. Yeah, let's do it. Evolving artificial intellects are opening the door to the possibility for true synthetic sapience. That's good enough for me. Let's do it. After a recent visit of the Winds of Fortune to Felende, it has been noticed that a number of resources are missing from the Central Reserve. It is suspected that the Winds of Fortune somehow made off with them. <laughs> My precious! My precious! Okay, I should really stop. <laughs> I should really stop. Uh, thieves. Those bastards. Thieves. Bastards. How dare you? Go right through our system again. You bastards. You... You thieving bastards. Can I go after them through this system, huh? No? Ah. Probably not that way. Um, oops, that was the wrong one. Uh, -da -ba -da. Who do I yell at? How do I yell at them? How do I do the yelling? You. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Open a reliquary, huh? Eh, nah. nah. I don't think there's a way I can yell at them anyway, so screw it. Tianki Conservation Act is now passed. Beautiful. Minor research sanctions. The Yeon Alliance has... It's hard to notice the Yeon Alliance considering their uh, envoy is... Uh, Polysimus. But eh, that'll work. It'll definitely, uh, definitely get the job done. All right. Minor research sanctions. Empires that are in breach of galactic law must permit regular inspections of their research facilities to ensure that they are in compliance with galactic requirements. All right. I'm okay with that. Let's do it. Because it especially, oh, oh. That'll piss off the Spuxalak a little bit. But at the same time, it really goes after the uh, Commonwealth of Man. I'm good with that. I'm sure the Spuxalak will understand. 
Really, the only reason that they're in breach of galactic law is because their fleet isn't built back up yet. They really need to go after that. All right. Expertise statecraft for Rifilwe Bancole. I think that's how you pronounce that. Anyway. And... We're going to do that. That's good. So I'll have them working on that in a second. And absolutely going to have them build one on Naus. Because Naus is definitely the one that has the most to give me. That's next on the list. Construction right. complete. Ketling Starpack has declared Commonwealth of Man their rival again. Fair enough. Borsham Station is now operational. I just don't have enough alloys to build it further. That's fine. Uh, let's not build a crew quarters. I forget. Where is that at? It's over here. Oh! Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, let's not build a crew quarters here. Let's instead build, um, Hyperlane Registrar. There we go. It's a lot easier. That's good. That's very good. All right. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Star Fortress is now completed. Beautiful. And then I can go straight on to Citadel, which I don't want to, but it's an option. Mineral purification is still the cheapest by far. Actually, no. Technically, deep core mining is the cheapest because it only <laughs> needs one month. But, um... I'd rather go after battleships. Battleships is the next step up. Quite frankly, I want them. I want them now. The largest of the standard military vessels, battleships are traditionally heavily armored and sport several gun batteries. The largest hull configuration available. The battleship carries immense power into battle at even greater cost and reduced maneuverability. That's fine by me. Most of everything is built so that way it is its own little trek. Comfort the Fallen. Being surrounded by all these creatures is a terrible strain, so please don't make me beg for your support. Wow. Bruh. Excuse. Alright, the lowest among us is still one of us, and we should come together to assist in their time of need. Unemployed workers have their unhappiness penalty reduced by 10%. Uh... I'd rather not support it because it was Commonwealth of Man. But at the same time, the United Nations of Earth does support it. I'd just rather abstain. Rather abstain for now. Okay. That done. Everything there is good. Hmm. Enough unity for that. Cool. We'll move on to that, the Judgment Core. Sprawling cities and isolated mining stations both have unique challenges associated with crime prevention. To expedite law enforcement, we have made the judicial process more efficient by combining the roles of judge, jury, and enforcer. So basically, we're making Judge Dredd is what we're doing. We're making the universe of Judge Dredd. That's what you're telling me? Okay. All right. Sure. Why not? <sighs> as long as it works. Phrasing goes, right? And then we go there. Cool. Get that taken care of. And that'll be all be good. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Global production strategy is done. Good. Oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. I'm not even... 
A fleet does not run on zeal alone. To ensure steady access to critical supplies, we should organize our logistics corps into dedicated support vessels. Can do. Which reminds me. Need to get a look in on this. Oh. The Curator Research Aid Agreement. That's right. The agreement we signed giving you access to our databanks has run its course. Would you like to extend it for another 10 standard years, or do your researchers no longer require the information we offer? I'd like to extend it, honestly. Well, let's do that. Excellent. Our databanks shall remain available to your scientists. Thank you. I appreciate it. I still lack... <laughs> Not for long, apparently, but I still lack the... Uh, Alloys required. There we go. Perfect. Upgrade it to Starhold. And away we go. Uh-oh. Governor Ren Yamazaki has died at the age of 140? Damn, Ren! You lived a long-ass time! Damn, dude. Alright, Prakti. Prakti Makon. Let's go with you. I am okay with this. Actually, you know what? Let's see what governors I can bring on. Oh, a human governor. That'd be interesting. Brenislav Markov. He is young and then resilient on top of that. Yeah, we'll bring him on. For when uh, Turk, son of middle of may pass on. I have no idea when that'll be. Um, Fald's daughter of Satu and Alexander Yurzov are still sitting as available because these guys are still kicking somehow for some reason. <sighs> Baffled me how that one scientist died at the age of 117 when the rest of them are living far past that. It's wild to me. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's check our government. We haven't done that in a while. Empress Catalina is still kicking. And uh, Crown Princess Anastasia is still next to the throne. Uh, frontier spirit and logistical understanding. That'd be nice. Expansionist and Corvette focus. Ugh, still bugs me that she has that. But expansionist does help. Definitely helps me in building the outposts. At least keeping them... Uh, being built as much as I can. Alrighty. Alright, the Senate floor is in session, and we are now voting to enact minor research sanctions. Oh, and the Thymoid Conclave are an opponent because they are in breach now, too. <laughs> and the Spook Select now oppose it because they realize, wait a minute, this affects us, too. Jesus, the only, <laughs> the only supporters are everyone who doesn't have that problem. <laughs> the opponents are the ones who do have the problem. And the Sutherian entity, because they realize they're next on the list. They're next on the list of people who are going to be yelled at. Something fierce for it. Alright. How am I getting negative? Do I have any automatic trades going? I do not. Maybe I should start some. Maybe. Wait, 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 what? Why do I only have... Why do I only have three envoys? What? Huh? It's on a rotation, or I could go with challenge. The Federation chooses its president by challenge. May the best win. Well, pretty sure they won't like that. Can subjects join? Ah, subjects are allowed to join the Federation. Nah. War declaration. Majority vote. That would be nice. Huh. Kick member's president decides? 
Requires centralization to be very high or higher. Hmm. Separate treaties. Federation members are prohibited from having research agreements, migration treaties, or commercial pacts with empires outside of the Federation. Yeah, that would definitely mess with cohesion. So yeah, let's not do that. But they do support majority vote for war declaration and invite members. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. What happened to my fourth one, though? What happened to my fourth envoy? I don't... I don't understand. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. The Doctrine of Support Vessels is completed. That's good. A fleet does not run on zeal alone. Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Um, manifest Destiny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not that again. Climate Restoration. By advancing our understanding of atmospheric manipulation, we will be able to terraform even the most ecologically devastated worlds. I'm okay with that. Science Division reports oh. a new breakthrough. And we did Positronic AI as well. Okay. I'm all right with that. Curator Arcology Lab. Eh. It is the cheapest. Do I need it? No, but it is the cheapest. Yeah, we'll go ahead with that. For now. A shipboard lab with advanced archaeological equipment, including a vast database supplied by the Curator Order, where new discoveries can easily be cross-referenced. Sure. Why not? Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Camelot. I can now get another one. Fantastic. Um, hmm. Maybe... Hmm. What should we go with here? I'm unsure, honestly. Let's go with another alloy foundry, perhaps? I don't see why not. Sure. Whoop. Missed the uh, technology that was done. That was battleships is now completed. Perfect. All right. Um... Now these decisions are getting harder. Mega cannon would be nice. An enormous max mass accelerator cannon that can only be placed on a spinal mount and fires monstrously powerful rounds over vast distances. That would be for the battleship. Standardized cruiser patterns. Let's just get that finished up. Get that finished up and started. All right. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. This construction ship is almost done with its thing. And it needs to go to Naus to finish these things. And then after that, it can go to the nearest area and call it good for the time being. Okay. And with this, I think I can end the episode. Yeah, we've gotten some progress done uh not as much progress as i would like but we've gotten the majority of progress that i think we could get done done so there's that enigmatic fortress eventually i'll have to deal with some of these leviathans but for the time being i think we're good and when it comes to dealing with 
other things like uh, what is this? Oh, that's a mining station. Okay. When it comes to getting other things taken care of, like these or you know, other fleets and whatnot, I'll just have to uh, take it on a case-by-case -case basis, I guess. <sighs> I'm still annoyed that I'm losing energy credits, though. I have no idea why. Anyway. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to keep our empire running smoothly as possible. While also dealing with the galactic community at large. And deciding how I want to proceed with them i think that the commonwealth of man and the Sotherian entity have more or less made themselves an enemy to the entire galactic community and it's just working out how we want to proceed with that five-year plans okay and then we'll work on more things as they come up like these so uh We'll just look into how it'll go from here on out for you.